Hello everyone, my name is Bridget, and today we're going to be talking about how to live your starseed mission as a sensitive empath. So there are those that have this sole urge to be of service, to help, and to remember also these higher ideals, these higher values, these higher frequencies, to bring them through to earth. So just as a reminder of the mission, the whole deal is to be able to bring it and embody it and deliver it and to transmit and gift and serve in the physical plane with humanity, with the earth. And so oftentimes that seems opposing of being hypersensitive and empathetic where you're like, I can't even handle this. This is too much for me. So you can see where the mission itself seems to oppose this certain proclivity that these types have for this hypersensitivity. So how do these two things work together? Okay, if you're liking this video, if you want more videos like this, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you're notified every time I do new videos. So this is the key, getting back to it, is that part of the mission itself of service is to alchemize this hypersensitivity and empathic compassion that you have inside. So alchemizing that hypersensitivity is part of what is going to be of service. Now it's of service in a lot of different ways. And I wanna go through some of those ways. One of which is when you change yourself, you change the collective, right? When you alchemize certain things in you, it completely changes your genetic line, your ancestry, past and future, your whole family, big impact, right? So it's not meant to be all about you. We're, we're meant to be of service, service to others. But part of how we can then first be of service if things are too much is to do our inner work, which then pretty much instantly ripples to our whole family system and ripples in energy to everyone that we're interacting with. So it has a big impact doing our inner work. And one of the things that I've said before, but it's worth repeating, is that this hypersensitive energy can come from other soul lives where we just uh, have developed these skills to tune in to other people and have those abilities. But often even more so, it comes from different traumatic experiences that you might have had in childhood or run in the family lines. And so often star seeds and these different soul energies that come to serve came into certain families, came into certain dynamics that were challenging and so that they could alchemize that so that it's part of the mission. So it's actually part of the mission to come in, have these challenges. And then the key point is to get out of that, to integrate those traumas, to balance them so that they're not living in the body because this hypersensitivity makes it challenging for, funny enough, the cosmic energies, the, the love, the good energies from other humans or our capacity, our nervous system capacity to be able to handle things benevolent, wonderful, cosmic, and challenging. So it, it really hinders our capacity, our capacity on all levels to be able to be a vessel of service, a vessel of the divine, a vessel of that cosmic light, of that consciousness from other soul lives, whatever you're streaming to be of service, it, it really disrupts the vessel. So the step one kind of on the mission is to actually do that inner work, which is why I've been doing so much of that kind of content uh, on the channel and doing so much around the ancestry pieces and stuff because these are integral to be able to feel safe, to feel full, to feel vast, to feel available, to really ground and embody everything that we're wanting to be and serve, to ground big energies, big cosmic energies, big love energies, to share with other people and really make the impact that you feel within yourself. And if you're wanting some more support to be able to activate that soul embodiment of your mission into your daily life, be sure to go down and get that link of that meditation activation down below. So another key point to this, which will really help be helpful on balancing the sensitivity and grounding in the mission of service is to... Uh, redirect the focus like get that focus back where 
it is about connecting out there to bring in the frequencies and embody them and then take action on them to live them to emanate them in our daily lives and in the world and sometimes that can be too much right sometimes it's like whoa I'm so special and came here to save the world that's really intense like that's that it, it often can be overwhelming just the idea of that and that's not true okay you didn't come here to save the world that's ego <laughs> that's grandiose uh we all came here every human incarnating right now and those the ones that come the ones that go we all choose to chose to come here and we all chose to do our part we all chose to do our part to evolve individually in whatever way we choose and then there's some people that go beyond their own personal evolution and move into collective evolution so all that you're needing to do is your part that's it <laughs> and that takes a lot of the pressure off because if you're sensitive like i am and i'm getting better and better at alchemizing that it's it can be too much where you just collapse and you do nothing and that doesn't help anyone or anything and reorienting the belief system around these different spiritual identities and spiritual stories to get it really clear of you're just doing your part and taking a nice big bite of humble pie and you can be significant and you can be special as one part of the whole of a, of a whole pie uh we don't, you don't need to be the whole pie and for a long time, I felt like I needed to be the whole pie because I felt insecure or insignificant in different ways. And so we can easily kind of get attached to these certain identities and then it actually springboards us up into this like conceptual out-of-body world and then also where we just keep on seeking more inf information out there versus redirecting the whole thing and humbly, slowly, beautifully, step by step, chopping wood, carrying water, one step at a time, making consistent, balanced moves. Just like one step at a time on the path. And that changes everything. That changes everything. And so moving out of a place of extreme back into balance. And so part of the nature of being a hypersensitive, empathetic person is that it's extreme. Part of being uh, identified as this like super savior, starseed uh, alien is the, like, very extreme. And so it's all about coming back to the middle ground and humbly, humbly uh, tuning in to what you can do today in your life. Uh, to serve how you can serve your family how you can serve your friends how you can serve your relationships and and how you can work do something of work of mission of vocation that is uplifting humanity the earth bringing healing bringing nurturance bringing restoration so really tuning into that energy and playing at that level of the game is very very advanced um and going to actually have the most impact rather than like Whoa, like going at something really hard and then collapsing or taking on so much that you can't handle it and then just these flip-flop imbalances that's not going to help anyone so reorienting on the path to grounding and embodying all that you came in with, all that you have to offer, all of your light, all of the gifts, and then humbly stepping each day more and more into those things. And part of the reflection of how it's going on the mission is how are your relationships? And do you have relationships? Because sometimes it can lead to isolation. Uh, when we move into the conceptual, when we move out of body, are you having relationships? Are you having good relationships? And if not, how can you tend to those? 
How can you open your heart? How can you ground into vulnerability, to connecting, to being of service in seemingly simple ways in the everyday that actually make huge impacts when each one of us are doing our individual parts. And when we heal and integrate those traumas, those challenges uh, that we have in our systems that make us, um, you know, all the things like anxious, overwhelmed, and unable to integrate the, the greater cosmic energies and those things coming through, when we do that personal work and we, we re-entrain our nervous systems, we heal, we integrate, we're then able to hold a lot, more and more, but not too much, just enough, every time, just enough. And sometimes there's that phrase of like, the universe only gives you what you can handle. It's like, well, that's not true. It gives you what you ask for. And sometimes that can be too much because we're asking for too much or we take on too much. It's reflecting those things we need to look at and integrate. And so realizing that and and then going, you know, staying in balance because I'm also hearing not going too slow where it's like you're you're too gentle on yourself, like pushing your edge uh, as much as you can in a balanced way. So balance is the key taking consistent steps, being humbly on your path, doing your part in your own daily life to embody light, to embody beauty, to embody connection with those around you, cultivating relationships, being of service as much as you can, doing the inner work so that you can really hold more and more every day and be of service and come back into uh, this this beautiful relationship of the greater play out. Uh, something doesn't have to happen overnight. And I've been doing a lot of study, as you're probably seeing, into deep uh, psychology and trauma therapy work. I've been doing that for quite a few years now. And that impulse of like, this needs to happen now, you know, like, wah, which I used to have all the time and I'm 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 speaking here on this video from experience all of these things I've experienced I used to be so hypersensitive I used to want things to happen immediately all these different pieces and these are signs of trauma response where it's like you need something to happen overnight and as we integrate this and as we come back to balance we are we're whole. We understand the greater play out. We understand the beautiful orchestration of timing. And we're ready when we get that call for that action step that's needed. So we're not, you know, depleted ourselves. We're not overwhelmed. We're not, we're, we're ready when the time comes. So we're not complacent and we're not going too fast. So staying steady on the path in those ways is just super helpful. So this is a different kind of starseed integration on the mission, but this is real talk. This is real talk. This is stuff that works. This is tried and true. Taking this approach, I've had bigger impact in the ways that matter as I've done this than I had trying to make something happen or, or wanting to be bigger on my mission or bigger on the mission than was appropriate for my part, my role. So tune into your role. Take a breath to relieve yourself of like a lot of pressure and just be kind to yourself and those around you on the daily and that will literally make all the difference in the world. I have lots of different tools to help you on all these levels. Um, I've got my ancestral healing course. I have one-on-ones to do the deep somatic nervous system reentrainment. I have my soy collective, which has all kinds of ways of integrating soul retrieval and opening up to more of our experiences. I have a shocker course that's just about to come out that really helps open, activate, and anchor your uh, earth star chakra, soul star chakra. I've got a lot of tools, so utilize them. Uh, I've, the links are in the description. I'm here for you and I really get it. I'm with you on this journey. I've been there and I've been able to alchemize certain things to where it feels so good, uh, being here on earth on mission. And I wish for you to feel the same.
please comment below. I would love to hear what you feel about this, what you're excited about, what's working for you. This is a wonderful forum to be able to share with each other. And again, be sure to click that like button, the subscribe button, the bell button, so you get notifications every time I do new videos. Sending you so much love.